There was a tornado warning while I was asleep. It was definitely not what I expected, but in the best way. Hi friends, my name is Jenna. I'm a full-time traveler who practically lives out of a suitcase. Come travel with me as I visit the beautiful and strange Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hi friends, I am back with another vlog and today I am in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I have the day off and I was really excited to go to a few different outdoor locations including Ruby Falls and this incline train that looked really cool um, but both of them are in an area uphill that is going to be probably a little bit dangerous to drive with the crazy rainstorm that's happening and tornado warnings that keep coming on and off. So instead, I'm going to go downtown and um, just explore the cute little town that is Chattanooga. All right, so now that I'm in the car, I will tell you where I'm going first. I had no idea that Norman Reedus had a restaurant in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And if you're not familiar with Norman Reedus, he is from The Walking Dead. I was obsessed with him all through high school. <laughs> and I guess Chattanooga is one of his home bases. So he does have a restaurant out here with one of his friends and I am gonna go there first. So within this adorable train station is Nick and Norman's, which is Norman Reedus's restaurant and it is delicious. I never go looking for train stations, but they always seem to find me. I just happen upon them. So I guess we're going to the Choo Choo. The Choo Choo is just really pretty architecture. It was a train station at one point, but no longer runs. And so they do have a decommissioned train there. Okay, so you guys know when I said there was a tornado watch, I was definitely joking about that. But now it has turned into a tornado warning, so I guess I jinxed myself. Right before it went out on the radio, I just had a gut feeling that I should have come home. So I already was starting to come home um, to the hotel, I mean. When I first came in a few days ago, there was a tornado warning while I was asleep um, that night, and I did not wake up for it, so thank goodness I didn't. Um, because I would have been freaking out, so I guess it, it worked out. But yeah, it's insane out there. I'll show you. Hi friends, it is a little bit later and the sky has cleared up completely. Um, I am going to go ahead and head to what's called Rock City Gardens. It looks really pretty, but I don't have a lot of time because it is already almost... 3 30 and it closes at 5 so I'm gonna head over there and try to see as much as I possibly can um, in the time that I have. That was easily one of the most terrifying drives of my life. I'm not looking forward to coming back down the mountain but I'm here. <laughs> Rock City is probably one of the most interesting places I've ever been because it is just full of like walking trails that are gorgeous and then you'll come across this just beautiful almost like Antelope Canyon crevice. And then there will be these little areas that look like zoo enclosures without the animals and it's just a hint of what's to come at the end of the tour. This place literally feels like a fairy tale. I would strongly recommend coming towards the end of the day because I'm basically alone on the trail and a lot of people were leaving when I came in so and so peaceful. And 
if you want to test your bravery, you can go on the Swing Along Bridge, which is a suspension bridge that is much higher than it looks in this video, but um, that is definitely only for the brave. That bridge will take you to the iconic Lover's Leap, which is what's on all of Chattanooga's postcards. It's not only an interesting piece of rock, but the view is amazing, and you can see seven states from that viewpoint. This part is a great place to stop and get a snack, and there's also activities for the kids before you move on to the rest of the tour. <laughs> Don't forget to stop by to see the balanced stone, which is a thousand ton rock held up by this tiny little thing. It's a little nerve wracking being under it. After you pass this little rainbow corridor, things start to get a little interesting. I think throughout the entire trail you'll see little hints of just really odd interesting items, but then you get to Fairyland Caverns and it just goes full on strange. You'll be walking through this beautiful cavern full of minerals and stalagmites, and then there's just gnomes. The story goes that the owner loved the Brothers Grimm stories so much that she had all of these little characters imported from Germany to create her own fairyland. And then when tourism dropped in Tennessee, they put them in the caverns to bring people in. It's just really interesting. You should definitely check it out. And as I left, I got some fudge for the road. All right, Rock City was amazing. It was definitely not what I expected, but in the best way. Um, now I am at a local favorite called Champy's. It looks really interesting. It's a chicken place. Um, so I'm gonna get some dinner and then I will head back home. I don't think you can go wrong with any chicken place in Tennessee, but this one is really interesting. It is just like this open barn area and there's bunches of dollar bills on the ceiling and it's just got a great vibe to it. And the chicken and potatoes are delicious. my hotel. This has been a wonderful time in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I really wish I could have done more, <laughs> but unfortunately the weather decided to go against me. Um, nonetheless, I love my time here. I loved everything that I ate and did, um, and I can't wait to come back someday. If you like this vlog or if it was helpful to you to plan your trip to Chattanooga, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for more travel. I've been here one time with my sister while we were driving through to New Orleans. That was a totally different experience from COVID. 